Hi, my name is David Graff. I'm a guitar player, guitar tech, guitar collector here in Nashville. And i um, been uh, touring for a whole lot of years. Um, golly, uh, almost 30 years now. Um, that whole time I've been collecting guitars uh, and amplifiers, just uh, music equipment. Um, back in the spring of uh, 2010, myself along with a whole lot of other people, suffered a uh, mighty devastating loss um, during the spring flood of 2010. And uh, we all had our stuff stored at Soundcheck, and uh, um, Soundcheck went underwater. And uh, anyway, not much we can do about uh, Mother Nature. Anyway, uh, just a r real quick overview of my experience. Um, personally, I had uh, a guitar collection of 122 guitars. I had uh, sentimental pieces um, for various reasons. I had the tools of my trade, which are uh, basically the guitars that I make a living with every day. Um, and then I had um, investment pieces, collector, uh, vintage instruments that are collectible, uh, increasing in value every day. And um, <clears throat> most of those I lost uh, in the flood. Um, I, uh, I lost 98 guitars, 98 of 122. I had four at the house here, untouched, and uh, um, the majority of them uh, were uh, destroyed at Soundcheck uh, during the flood. So here's a real quick overview of a handful that I do have left and um, uh, a little stories behind them. Uh, we'll just start at this end right here. Um, I've got an old Ibanez. Well, I say old, not that old, but... Uh, I used this on a Michael Jackson tour back in the early 90s. You can see how the, the neck on this uh, bad boy has split apart. And uh, it, it's kind of hard to see on the video, the, the real damage to it. Uh, won't be playing that one anymore. Uh, the next guitar I've got here, a 1972 Fender Telecaster Deluxe. Uh, this one uh, had swollen up, the body had it was so saturated, it swelled up about twice its normal size. And then it twisted, uh, destroyed. Uh, a Les Paul Gold Top. This was just one of my favorite guitars. And um, you can see how the finish is all split apart, cracked up. Uh, the two major cracks in the body. The neck pocket has turned loose, and uh, the neck is twisted pretty bad on this one. <clears throat> this was a Fender Acoustic. And uh, you can see how it's all contorted. The uh, neck block is turned loose because of the floodwaters. And uh, on the inside there you can see. And uh, it's just completely torn this guitar apart. Had a Gibson Chet Atkins right here. Uh, splits here. Uh, neck pocket damage. Same with this Les Paul here. Now this guitar. This is a Strasburg. This was built by the master luthier Bob Abernathy who uh, I had the great fortune to work with. He actually taught me how to build guitars. And this guitar was completely ripped apart by the waters. And uh, I've been in the process of restoring this one. Uh, probably will never be a, a player again, but uh, at least it will be a, a, a nice piece of art and a tribute to Bob. Oh, here I've got a Guild Acoustic. Suffered uh, the same fate. This headstock on this one is pretty bad shape, as well as the body. And an American Showster right here. Body split up. This a uh, few guitars from the 80s right here. Um, you can see how the uh, the neck pocket on this one has uh, swollen up. And uh, the necks on these are all twisted, split down the back. This is a prototype for the Washburn EC29 and EC36. The body is just, just split apart. This one split up the back of the neck. This Les Paul, same same thing. Uh, another Les Paul gold top, same story. Um, this acoustic guitar right here, probably the finest acoustic guitar I've ever owned. This is a Hudson Dalton, or what's left of a Hudson Dalton. Um, <clears throat> Hudson Dalton OM, and you can see how the body was contorted by the flood waters completely just ripped it apart and uh, uh, pretty much beyond repair and but makes a great maraca <laughs> we have to find the humor in these things where we can 
Oh, this a Taylor 610. Same story. Those rattling around, and there are uh, the braces from the inside of the guitar, basically just uh, f uh, falling apart. So that's just a few things. One more thing I'll show you real quick. This used this guitar case used to be the home for a uh, fantastic pristine condition 1958 Stratocaster. Sonic Blue is a custom color, worth a whole lot of money. Uh, that was uh, one of my fun investor pieces, investment pieces, excuse me. Um, and uh, it was worth a lot of money, number one, because it was a custom color 1958 Stratocaster. And uh, number two, it was in pristine condition. Um, now it's, um, it was completely devastated by the flood. Um, I've got it in the shop, trying des desperately to restore it. And at least bring it back to a player condition. Perhaps one day it'll make music again. Um, maybe. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that's uh, a little bit of my experience, a little bit of what I've got left. Um, um, once again, 98 guitars gone, uh, a lot of music hushed um, because of that. We all uh, suffered dearly. Um, it was a devastating day to the music community. The one amazing thing was everyone pulled together um, as a family, put on our work boots and our gloves and just went after it and got muddy and salvaged everything we possibly could. Um, whether it was ours or somebody else's, didn't matter. We just, uh, everybody just jumped in and helped each other out. Special thanks to all those involved and you know who you are. And um, and uh, thank you for your time, your interest, blessings. Thank you so much for what you're doing and uh, and helping the victims of this flood. Thank you.